when I learned about the Constitution in high school, it really didn't connect with me. It was required reading memorization to pass a required test. That's all it was. It wasn't until I learned about world history, philosophy, current events, that I started to grow a real appreciation and a love for the Constitution of First Amendment, a country by and for the people, individual rights and liberties, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, uh, as, and as an atheist, uh, definitely appreciate freedom of religion and my freedom to be an atheist in, in, this, in this country. Unfortunately, I don't think most Americans get it and appreciate the privileges and freedoms, the free society of being a United States citizen. And if there's something good from this horrible pandemic, I think it is more people are thinking about freedom more than they ever have before. When you look at how quickly many of the states became police states. Now, obviously with a pandemic, we need to keep people safe, but we've definitely seen instances where certain politicians went too far that overstated their power. When you have people arrested for protesting, for sitting on a park bench somewhere, where you have draconian uh, government officials not saying, here are guidelines, here are recommendations to the general population, but threatening them, you must do this or you'll be arrested, even though they're emptying out prisons because of coronavirus, they say they're going to throw you in prison. So if you're a mugger or rapist, you'll be let out of prison. But if you're walking somewhere where they say you shouldn't be walking, then then they're going to throw you in prison. So I think more people now now more than, than ever, because this is just something that hasn't happened in our uh, modern society, are thinking about these freedoms and, and appreciating what it is to live in a free society. And I, I, hope, they, I hope they speak out, and, and I hope this leads to a revolution, because our freedoms have been diminishing. And they have been diminishing because people don't get it and they haven't appreciated what they have. And when you don't appreciate what you have and understand the value, it's so easy to, to, to lose it. If somebody goes in the attic and they see it and they find a Babe Ruth baseball card and they don't know Babe Ruth and they don't know what it is. Oh, I'm just going to tear this up. If you don't understand the value of something, it's easy to lose it. It's easy to throw it away. So I think a lot of people are now thinking about freedom in, in different ways than I've ever thought about it before and having an appreciation. And I think we're start, going to start seeing uh, people understand that more and hopefully fight for it. Because not only do we have this limited freedom going on in, in certain states more than other states, but when you look at the internet and you look at all the censorship that's, that, that's been going on, when YouTube and Facebook first came out, it was great. It was a great place for people to present their opinions, to express themselves. Great platforms of human expression. You didn't have these uptight idiots uh, getting all bent out of shape over posts they disagree with. And they weren't in the censorship business. I mean, obviously, general guidelines, don't threaten people, don't call for violence, no pornography, but not any of this censorship we're seeing today and seeing it at a greater rate, uh, political censorship, censorship over people that criticize uh, the government or the World Health Organization on the way they've handled this coronavirus, even though their handling initially was, was an absolute disaster. We need... First Amendment rights for the internet. We need First Amendment rights, freedom of speech on these media platforms. Because if we don't have the First Amendment in the internet, we don't have the First Amendment. The conversations aren't being held on the porches anymore. They're being held online. This is where our modern communication is. And so the First Amendment needs, needs to be upgraded and extended to the internet. Now, obviously these private companies can have certain guidelines, but they need to be specific. And if you're not violating the guidelines, they have no right to ban you. 
they have no right to silence you. And it really infuriates me. These big, big tech CEOs, these people that grew up in the United States of America, this free society that have enjoyed these individual rights and liberty, that have achieved the American dream. Obviously, they're wealthy. And in turn, they're spitting on their country. They're discarding our foundation. They're oppressing, they're oppressing the expression of other human beings. That is just so completely outrageous. How arrogant for somebody to believe that they have the right to dictate what another person can say. And we got to stand up. This is being allowed. And I see it actually being promoted by the Democrats. Right now, I see the Democratic Party as a party of censorship, the party of constant race baiting and division, the party of authoritarianism. While the Republicans, I don't see them being for censorship, but I see them being silent. I don't see them being anti-censorship. And they need to be, if, if they want a winning platform come this November, uh, be anti-censorship. Talk about the foundation of this country. Talk about individual rights and liberties. Talk about freedom of, of speech and how that needs to be expended, extended to the Internet. Because like I said, if we don't have our First Amendment on the Internet, we don't have a First Amendment in today's society. So if something good is going to come out of this horrible pandemic. Hopefully, it's this realization of these values this country was founded on, this realization of how important our freedoms are, and fighting and having passion and fighting and protecting those liberties. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. I um, kind of see that happening more right now with you know certain certain voices, uh, hopefully that just becomes a wave, a wave of change, and we, we get our rights back. Anyway, this is Jim Wall. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Shishko, do we have to leave all our good friends now? Only until next time, Pancho. Adios, amigos. <laughs>